Hello, uh, this is Tim Sandal and um, just want to help with the introductory part of this module by just taking a view about what exactly we are trying to do with um, environmental monitoring. Um, so this video is about five minutes long and we're going to just centre on that question. What are we trying to do with environmental monitoring? Okay, so let's go to the first slide. Um, so I'm actually going to begin with uh, what environmental monitoring isn't trying to do, or at least a dangerous path to take it down. So with environmental monitoring, this is a program that needs to be constructed by the site microbiologist. Um, and every environmental monitoring program is going to vary slightly between different facilities. And that's because there are differences in types of processes with the technology, room sizes, the number of personnel present for a given activity, the overall design and so on. But one thing that this um, course demonstrates is that environmental control is more important than environmental monitoring. So environmental monitoring won't work if it's a substitute for poor environmental control. We've got to get the control right and then we're using monitoring to verify that our um, controls are working effectively. So environmental monitoring is not effective um, if it's based on poor controls and poor designs. As to what environmental monitoring needs to be, well, it's of great importance to the overall contamination control strategy. It is a regulatory expectation. It needs to focus on all of the contamination sources, so be that from people, materials, air or water. And it needs to reinforce all these control mechanisms that I alluded to, so good clean room design, effective cleaning and disinfection, appropriate gowning, and the use of localised protection, putting barriers in place um, so that the, the, the interaction between people and uh, product is minimised. Now as to the purpose of environmental um, monitoring, um, it's there to provide information on the quality of the processing environment during manufacturing. It's to enable data relating directly to a time and event to be pulled together and thus to prevent the release of potentially contaminated batches of product. It's designed to prevent future microbial contamination by detecting and reacting to adverse trends as early as possible, so drawing upon warnings and alerts. It's to assess the effectiveness of environmental controls, as we've just mentioned. And it also provides a profile of the microbial cleanliness of the manufacturing environment. So we can connect up, say, the effectiveness of our cleaning and disinfection procedures. And then the final slide is what makes a good environmental monitoring program? Well, we can take what we've just said and turn that round. So it's about demonstrating that environment quality is consistently within specified levels to provide a timely and sensitive warning if the environment quality or its control has become in some way unacceptable. And it also helps to initiate a timely planned course of action whenever environmental monitoring results are indicative of unacceptable environmental quality or control so we can react to excursions and out of limits events. So. Thank you very much. Hopefully this is some useful background information for the um, module itself. So thank you for watching.